But why are the Russians pushing that narrative that it was Ukraine? How does that serve Russian interests? The Russians' interests, uh, frankly, to delegitimize our entire presidency. So one issue that I do want to raise, and I think that this would resonate with um, our um, colleagues um, on the committee uh, from the Republican Party, is that the goal of the Russians was really to put whoever became the president by trying to tip their hands on one side of the scale under a cloud. So if Secretary, former First Lady, former Senator Clinton had been elected as president, as indeed many expected uh, in the run-up uh, to the election um, in 2016, she too would have had major questions about her legitimacy. And I think that you know, what we're seeing here as a result of uh, all of these narratives is uh, this is exactly what the Russian government was hoping for. If they see misinformation, they see doubt, they have everybody questioning the legitimacy of a presidential candidate, be it President Trump or potentially a President Clinton, that they would pit one side of our electorate against the other, that they would pit one party against the other. And that's why I wanted to make such a strong point at the very beginning. Because there were certainly individuals in many other countries who had harsh words for both of the candidates, who had harsh words for many other uh, candidates during the primaries. We had a lot of people who were running for president on the Republican side. There were many people who were trying themselves to game the outcome. As you know, in the United Kingdom, the bookies take bets. Uh, you can go to Ladbrokes or William Hill and lay a bet on who you think is going to be the candidate. So the Russian government were trying to lay in their own bets. But what they wanted to do was give a spread. They wanted to make sure that whoever they had bet on or whoever they'd tried to tip the scales would also experience some discomfort, that they would be holden to them in some way, that they would create just the kind of chaos that we have seen in our politics. So I just want to again emphasize that we need to be very careful as we discuss all of these issues, not to give them more fodder that they can use against us in 2020.